This video is for adult collectors. Hi everyone, this is a video review of the Beyblade Burst Quad Strike Ambush Achilles versus Gambit Dragon. Now, it's been a while since I reviewed one of these two packs. I paid, unlike the ones I reviewed previously, I actually got this full price at Walmart. I didn't pay, I didn't get it at Five Below or Ross. So take a look at this packaging i think now, this was one i saw recently i think hasbro is pushing out the last of their quad stuff before importing the beyblade x stuff into stores over here in america as you can see we get to take a look at the parts for both bays now gambit dragon is an attack type with its armor tip on, and without it, it's a stamina type. I mean, balance type. I keep confusing stamina and balance for some reason. They sound similar. I guess that's why. Uh, the other one is defense, and actually is a stamina type without the armor tip. Now, let's take a look at the bays themselves. Here it is. Gambit dragon. Looks very similar to the other dragon bays I've got, such as uh, command dragon. And uh, what's the other one I had? It's from the Pro Series. Oh, no, I remember. Uh, Command Dragon and Triumph Dragon. And uh, it's also reminiscent, the white colors are reminiscent of the original Beyblade Protagonist's Bay, Dragon Storm. For some reason, they like to color their dragons white and very nice looking buzzsaw look to the metal air. I'm not sure how useful it's it'll be uh, once I get this once I get these spinning. And as true to traditional attack attack types, it's a flat tip, so it should move around quite a bit. And this is also a bit flat, but it should move around as much. It's a bit smaller, and uh, it's supposed to be a defense type. I think I've seen this sort of. Uh, metal uh, second layer on another bay before mine. I don't remember what it was. Uh, I think it was one of my previous quad Beyblade review. But the ambush uh, layer uh, outer ring does uh, look... I've definitely not reviewed uh, an ambush Beyblade before, I think I, I think the previous Beyblade I reviewed with this metal part is, was one of the Cyclones, the Cyclone Roctavar. Anyways, uh, that might not be the correct one, but anyways, let's test these out in the uh, Quad Strike Stadium. All right, now I've got this Quad Strike Stadium out and ready to go. And as usual with these quad bays, I use the quad drive launcher. Now, this is a left spin bay, so I'm going to have to turn one of these into a left spin launcher. Fortunately, I can just uh, pull that switch in the back, uh, push this lever up. Uh, no, wait. Uh, pull this tab here, push this switch so it's directly above the L, then push the tab back in, and... Suddenly, a left spin launcher. Let's see how it does. Pretty nice. So let's do this. Uh, I said Gambit Dragon is an attack type, so we'll launch this. It'll be easier to launch this first, and we'll do uh, ambush Achilles. And looks like Gambit Dragon's the winner. All right, so let's take the uh, armor tip off. So the tip is smaller now, which 
Looks like it would still move around quite a bit. Let's do the same for Ambush Achilles. And it's a sharp tip, of course. Because it's stamina type. Now let's get these going. like Gambit Dragon is the winner once again. So let's get these into their Apex modes. So, which means we'll take this out. Put this on top. these parts back together. And the same on the other one. It's like these gray parts in the top layer are different on both of them, which I think is neat. There's some variety in how these look. Because I noticed the, one of the previous times I tried this, the gray part was actually the same on two of the quad bays. So, let's get these together. All right, let's try this again. So, Gambit Dragon won last two times, so I might win again. It's like Ambush is already... Starting to get wobbly. But then again, once attack types slow down, they usually tend to fall pretty fast. Ooh, this should be pretty even this time. Let's try this again. Maybe this time I'll pay attention to who won instead of talking. I was right about one thing. Once the more aggressive bay starts to slow down, it stops spinning much quicker. Hmm. It's still pretty close. We'll try this differently. Uh, ambush first, then... Gambit Dragon. Now Achilles will stay in the center like most stamina types, so to aim the Gambit Dragon away from Achilles just to make it fair. It's 
see if they're both still evenly matched. All right, uh, I think it's, I think in this case, uh, Achilles was the is the winner here. So uh, we'll get the armor tips back on. So. Keep in mind, in order to get these on and off, you got to separate the drivers. So you have to disassemble it again, put it back on. That way it locks the armor tip in place, otherwise it won't be able to click into place and stay on. So this is going to be last round Let's see who wins this time and as usual I'm going to start with the gambit dragon it's going to move, move around all over the place I don't have to aim in any place in particular with ambush Achilles so we'll just uh, so we can just get right in there um, is that left spin launcher Make sure it's locked in all the way. If any, oh, what I will say, the uh, even after about uh, several matches, these haven't bursted yet, which is good. time seems like gambit dragon is the better of the two but nevertheless uh, this is a two-pack so we we'll, should also comment on how cool i think it was watching these two battle and even though gambit dragon is definitely the superior of the duo it was pretty much fun watching these two duke it out until this one most of the matches I think these are pretty good bays too. I think this is a Achilles ambush. is a really nice aggressive bay with its defensive tip on. Very tough stamina type without the armor tip. Whereas uh, I think these both of these look pretty good. Especially the Gambit Dragon. I uh, really like the white. With uh, really helps make the other colors on here pop out. It's also a very aggressive bay with the flat tip and even without it, it still moves around quite a bit and i think achilles looks very good looking bay as well overall i think this is a great set please like this video and if you do please subscribe to my youtube channel that's it for my review bye